Hi everyone, welcome to the Java video lecture series. So in today's video, we will learn about enagram string. So two strings are called enagram only if they have same characters set, but they are in different order. For example, we have a character called J A V A, and I have one more character J A V A. Now, is this two are enagram strings? Yes, because they both have same character set. Now we have one more J A V A. Okay, so is this also called enagram with reference to this or this? Yes, because they have same character set. Enagram strings do not bother about how many white spaces you have or what is the cache of your string. The conditions are first ignore white space, ignore cases. Whether it is capital letter or small letter, it doesn't care. And if they have same character set, they are enagram. Okay. So how can we implement it? So consider we have two string. Sorry, S one is equal to consider J B A, and we have some space between them. I don't care. And the string S two is equal to consider it. Small letter is J B. Okay. Now what we have to do is first we have to remove and check whether there is any white space. Then remove it. So we will update the value of the string. S one is equal to S one dot replace. And if there is any white space, we will update it by empty string. Just remove that white space. Similarly, do for S two. Now, when we try to print this, okay, to check whether white space has been removed from the S one or not, run it, and you can see it. You have successfully removed it. In interviews or many programming questions, these questions are oftenly asked that make a Java program to remove the white space. This is a one line code. Okay, so now we have to do is first can replace. We have to ignore now the cases, so we can do it simply here. Dot two lower case method. Okay. Similarly, do for the string s two. Now save it and run it. Now you can see that we have successfully done this. Now we have to do is we have replaced white spaces that is ignored white space. We have ignored the cases. Now we have to check they have. Same character set or not? So, how can we do that? For this, we have to change it to character set. Make a new character array and name this S three is equal to S one dot two char array. Similarly, do for S two. Make a new character array S four is equal to S two dot two char array. Now. All we have to do is to sort it to check whether they have the same data set or not. So sorting, you can simply use sort method. And to use it, we have to use arrays dot sort. Okay, we have to first S three, then similarly sort S four, and uh, okay. Now or uh, Try to print S3 and S4. What you see, S4. Now run it. You can see that. Now your strings are alphabetically sorted. And now all we have to do is to check whether these sorted strings are equal or not. So what we will do? We will check if. Arrays dot equal S three and S four. If they are equal, then our strings are enagram. Enagram string. Else, print not enagram. 
okay save it and just delete this okay run this program now and you can see that this is an in a ground string for example now let's see java is very easy okay now save it and run it you will see not an exam so you can also make a condition okay to do all this operation only if if the length of s1 and s2 are equal then we will operate this and if the length are not equal we can simply say that the strings are not an exam for example we will make a condition here if s1 dot length is equal to is equal to s2 dot length okay then only we are going to do this else not an exam okay save it and run it okay now what we have done in this program is according to the anagram strings behavior or properties first we have ignored the white space and then we have ignored the cache then we have sorted the character sequence and then we have used the equals method to check whether the both strings or character set is equal or not if they are equal then only they are in a come thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe bye bye